one in the building back again with another video and first thing first i want to say i hope dak prescott heals up fast because that injury was pretty bad even though when wentz got injured against the rams two three years ago cowboy fans were happy celebrating they didn't like wentz at all so now we got to feel a little sympathy for dak prescott and it happened see Quarterbacks go in and out the game, so now the Cowboys got to see what it feels like to miss their star quarterback. And Andy Dalton, he's up next for the Cowboys, so hopefully Dak Prescott heals up. And that's all I say about that one. And back to this Pittsburgh and Eagles game. Man, almost a win. If it wasn't for the referees, I want to say the referees took a big part of this one. Like in the beginning, the Eagles could have started off 14 and 0, who knows? Like, but the referees want to call all kind of just dumb plays, like completely dumb. Like pass interference on Darius Slay. Unbelievable. Darius Slay was not even like doing anything at all but playing the route. But the referees don't like that. They don't like to see good defense, apparently. So Darius Slay got a couple calls on him, and they didn't want to call anything when it was on Earth. So all those faces were in Ertz, and man, it's just unbelievable. So we could have had that win, and talking about Ertz, man, I think Ertz should just go, because it seems like he doesn't want to play for the Eagles anymore since that contract is up. Like, he wants to get paid. He wasn't throwing, he wasn't catching the ball like he usually does. Like, Carson was scrambling, trying to get to him, and there was a couple times Ertz would get to the ball, but a few times, if you look closely, Ertz was not even trying a lot of those plays. He seemed like he didn't even want to even go for the ball. So either the contract is messing Ertz up or he just want to go to a different team. So Julio Jones, if he's interested still, I would give Ertz up, get Julio Jones over here, and now we got a wide receiving group. That's all I'm saying. So I hate to say it, but it's the truth. <laughs> all right. So 20, what was it, 29 to 38? horrible score but we could have won that and if we would have beat Pittsburgh I would never heard the end of it from them Pittsburgh fans it would have been going crazy so I'm happy that we almost beat them anyway so that's, that shows a lot on the Baltimore next which is I don't know about this on Lamar Jackson he's gonna go crazy but by the look at this I think we have a chance so Baltimore y'all better watch out because I think we can win this game. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that. Carson Wentz, his last performance, because I think he set it off. Especially Miles Sanders, too. Almost forgot about him. Two touchdowns. Man, and Travis Filgram. Man, there's just so much to talk about. But we got to see in the next game if Travis Fulgham can still set it off. Miles Sanders got to keep it up. Man, offense, they setting it off. It's just the referees and the defense. I don't know what's going on there. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And I will see you after the Baltimore win. <laughs> I feel it. See you guys in the next one. PR Eagle signing off.